what's up guys so tonight we're gonna be reacting to angry nintendo nerd nightmare on elm street i used to watch this guy all the time back in the day haven't seen any of his videos in probably like over 10 years easy so yeah man it looks like he posted them with some higher quality so yeah it's gonna be fun getting back into these let's get into it this was the content we had back then dude Happy Halloween and welcome to the show. Last episode, I was trying to rant about how much Friday the 13th sucked ass. But whenever I'd say anything bad about the game, Jason Voorhees took offense to it and he threatened to kill me. Lucky for me, he didn't understand sarcasm, so I was still able to get away talking shit about this game. Finally, my rage built to a fever pitch just when he was about to kill me. That game is I beat him down hard. with the NES controller and blew off his head with the zapper. After that, the misery of that game caused me to drown my sorrows with beer and tequila. Now we left off where I'm passed out on the couch and Freddy Krueger's coming into my nightmare. And what worse of a nightmare could there be than a shitty ass fucking game like Nightmare on Elm Street? Let's <laughs> check it out. Dude, his videos are so dope though. <gasps> Like Nintendo? Uh -huh. You like to play shitty games? <laughs> no. <laughs> you you like to play nerd. shitty you games? Play some Dr. Jekyll no. and Mr. Hyde? No! No! no. Or you you want to play nerd. my game, bitch? Ha ha ha! Why are those games this so game difficult back then? This game is my fucking nightmare. It's a frustrating, incoherent pile of vomited shit. Even the first screen is kind of weird because it shows Freddy without his glove, but his knives are still coming out of the fingers. Now, I think I might actually have an explanation <laughs> for this. In the movie, Nightmare Part 2, Nah, they just fucked up. <laughs> they fucked up. So you play as some dude who has some serious balls because he punches snakes right in the fucking face. And you don't have to anyway, you just jump over them all. So this guy has the worst luck ever because rocks randomly fall out of the sky and flocks of vampires <laughs> come ever. after him. Even though it may appear to be a typical side scroller, it isn't at all. There's nothing self-explanatory or even fun about this diarrhea mess. I can't figure out where I'm supposed to go. Some of the doors are closed and some of them are open, but it hardly seems to matter because usually there's only one on the entire street that you can go inside. Whether it's open or shut, it seems completely fucking random. Ha! Figure that out! Those games so were so hard, dude. It's crazy. Guess what? It's crawling with ginormous spiders. So what do you do? You give them a taste of your fist. Punch them. Uh! Uh, smack them around, assholes, goddamn fucking spiders. <laughs> Eat my ass, you fucking bitches. Show me you're a man. Dude, I Punch can't believe we spiders. played this shit back spiders. in the day. Spiders. Punch them. Snakes. You want some too? So I get to this little square door on the floor, and I can't go down. The arrow says down, which probably means that's where I'm supposed to go, but I can't. It's not till later I find out I'm supposed to collect all the bones in this room first. When I first started playing this, I had no clue what they were for. But now I realize you have to get the bones because that's the point of the game. And if you can't find every single last one of them, you can't leave the room. And some of them are practically invisible. They blend <laughs> in with the background because the graphics just suck. Ooh, yeah! Play that shitty game! The plot of this game is that you're trying to collect all of Freddy's bones so you can destroy them in a furnace. Confused? Well, Freddy's dead, and now his bones are somehow scattered all around every house on Elm Street. Meanwhile, Freddy's entering your dreams, just like in the movies, and he can only be stopped when his final remains no longer exist. Damn, Freddy's got a lot of fucking bones. <laughs> I was just thinking exactly that shit. Same. Classic cartoon dog bone. 
classic. You know, come to think of it, the plot's kind of like Simon's quest. Why would Simon want to go around collecting pieces of Dracula? He was killed the first time. Just leave him alone. Imagine if Batman killed the Joker and then he scattered his pieces all over the fucking city and then went around collecting them all. What a bunch of fucking shit. In fact, the gameplay in Nightmare on Elm Street itself is a lot like Simon's Quest. It has that strange presence to it, where you sleep <laughs> in and out of day to night. In this case, it's a dream world strange and a awake world. It's got that non-linear quality to it, where you're always confused, trying to figure out where the fuck to go. Ah, taste the major suckage, you fucking nerd! <laughs> At the end of each house, some weird incarnation of Freddy appears. In this part, it's Freddy's hand on a bunch of balls. What were they thinking? <laughs> hand on a bunch of so, balls. So, you go around looking for another house you can go in, and none of them let me in. Try the cemetery? Nope, can't go there. What's with the zombies? They look like Frankenstein monsters walking with their arms stretched out. Like, how fucking stereotypical is that? <laughs> can I go in the junkyard? Nope. Just keep walking around. Walking down, I guess it's Elm Street, which happens to be the longest fucking street in the world. Oh look, I finally found a house I can go in. The one with the door that shut. That makes sense, right? What the fuck are these? Lollipop ghosts with stick arms? Were the enemies in this game designed by some kindergarten kid for Halloween? Fuck, man. I'm surprised they don't have skeletons, too. They actually do have skeletons. What the fuck? Could the villains be any more stock? <laughs> like, stock. we had this creepy game about Freddy. What kind of creepy characters could we add? Well, how about bats, ghosts, spiders, skeletons, and Frankensteins for the kitties? Could it be any more uncreative than that? Like, why don't they just add some witches, black cats, and flying jack-o'-lanterns? They should have just called the game Boo, Haunted House, which <laughs> is probably what they originally had in mind until they thought, no, wait. Make it about Freddy. We already ruined Friday the 13th. Now let's do the same that thing. That game is fucking hard, dude. We're gonna do that right. one next. It's by the same company. We're not gonna say who it is, but it stands for laughing, joking, numb nuts. <laughs> also, listen to the music. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? In fact, it sounds kind of like it's recycled from Who the Fuck Frame Roger Rabbit, another piece of garbage they made. What were they thinking? You love it, you know you do. So let me explain how the dream world thing works. You have a sleep meter that goes down. If you're standing still, it goes down. If you get hit, it goes down. And in time, it goes down by itself. So anything you do or don't do, the sleep meter goes down. Ain't that a bitch? And once it's down all the way, you go to sleep. Unless you didn't already fall asleep playing this fucking game. <laughs> So, when you're in the dream world, all the enemies are stronger. Which doesn't even matter anyway, because you're fucking you can turn nerd. other character that throws javelins and does the spinning jump. Hell yeah. There's also other dream characters you can play as after you collect the dream tokens. Just like in the movie, Nightmare Part 3. Except for the dream tokens part. So if you play in the dream world for a lengthy period of time, the Freddy music starts playing. Then, oh god, is Freddy coming? <laughs> he sure is. Of all the shitty things in this game, this screen is so cheesy that it's just awesome. But it's ruined by the fucking trademark symbol. Why would they put anyway, that Anyway, you fight Freddy, which turns out to be real disappointing. It's just a simple flat room and he walks back and forth. They put that trademark symbol in there like someone's gonna screenshot their tube TV or some shit. Swatting at the air like he's blind. Come on, Freddy. To get out of the dream world, you have to get the radio to wake yourself up. Then you have to wait for it to change back to the awake world. It's annoying like in Simon's Quest. But in Simon's Quest, it's way worse because it's against your own will. It happens so often and you don't expect it. In Nightmare on Elm Street, at least you're doing it on purpose and you get that rocking <laughs> tune rather than just dead silence. But now, I'm using my fists again. Give me the javelin back. I want to go back to sleep. You actually have weapons in the dream world, so what's the point? 
You know what's really weird? That this game was actually capable of a four-player mode using an accessory that allowed Whoa. controllers to be connected to your Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, I can't imagine having four people playing this game. Who's going to want to play this piece of shit? I'm lucky if I can get one other person. I have a better chance of cloning myself. So fuck this is fucking it's shit. shit. It's so fucking shit. Fucking fuck. 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 horrible. Fuck so fuck. 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 I'm in a dream, I can do whatever I want, so why don't we all just stop playing this fucking game? Yeah! So, the hell with that shit! Yeah! The hell with that damn shit! The hell with that damn fucking shit! The hell with that goddamn motherfucking bullshit! Relax. Relax. Then what should we do you with the cartridge? Nerd. How about smash it with a hammer? Nah, that's not good enough. I know, let's drop it out the window. Now come on, be creative. I say we take a shit on it. Good, do it. Empty your ass all over it. I don't gotta take a shit though, you take a shit. You gotta take a shit? Who's gotta take a shit? I gotta take a shit. Then take that shit. <laughs> all over the fucking game. Bombs away. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck you diarrhea fiend. Whoa, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Uh, come on, it's not that bad. What the fuck am I watching? Front door. Closet. Front door. Closet. Hell yeah! <laughs> this shit was creative as fuck, dude, for being from 2006. yourself so you're your own damn nightmare now you're gonna die go yank your cock through your ass you fucking butt mongrel i got the power glove bitch slap him with it God. That was a weird dream. So I hope you enjoyed these two Halloween themed episodes. They're a little more elaborate than usual, but next time it'll most likely be back to basics. So yeah, dude. I don't know. I can only handle the stand. His video, like, I can only watch it once, man. I can I can't watch any more of his shit. But, uh, yeah, that's what we used to watch back in the day, dude, when YouTube really didn't have shit on it. That's crazy, man. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe to your boy. Show some love. Show love is free, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, guys. Little trip to the past, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, till next time, guys. Appreciate you. We out of here. Peace. I ain't fresh off the plane, I check my chains and all my luggage You think that designer make you different, but it doesn't You don't know the difference between getting rich and buzzing Creeping in that Jeep with GR3, yeah, that's my brother If she think it's something, I can drop her it like it's nothing No, it's fine, I'll find another hole, that diamond's diamond, diamond.